Hey everyone, it's Libby from Master Tarot. I'd like to acknowledge the Waramai First Nations people. It's W-O-R-I-M-I -I, and welcome to you, your guides, my guides and the universal energies. If you hear a gruff voice during the reading, that'll be Master. That is my uh, Gaelic uh, warrior guide. Um, tough, as, tough as nails on the outside, but super squishy on the inside. Or if you hear a gentle male voice, that will be Narin, my Australian First Nations spiritual and uh, leader and healer. Uh, he's the, the exact opposite, looks uh, incredibly calm and soft on the outside, but boy, oh boy, never cross him. Uh, I point to them as being here because I feel that they've got my back, but they are basically everywhere. And being with my guides is a state of being. I don't do anything to actually bring them in because they are here 24-7. Uh, entertainment only, uh, news of the day, uh, Bolsonaro, Brazil's former leader, has been found guilty of falsifying the, uh, authorizing the falsifying of COVID data. Don't need to be a tarot reader to know that was coming. Um, and also, interestingly enough, I know it's a couple of days old, but the motion, uh, the written motion that Trump's lawyers put towards SCOTUS, uh, in regards to the immunity case, uh, apparently quoted Brett Kavanaugh, wrongly quoted Brett Kavanaugh. <laughs> uh, so that'll go over like an absolute lead balloon. And also got to remember that um, uh, Trump, during his uh, impeachment moments while he was president, uh, had uh, quote had said that. Um, that if any president is guilty of, uh, of crime, shouldn't be impeached while he's in office. It should wait until after he is out of office. So Trump himself, oh, what have we got here? The tower card is up shuffling. Uh, Trump himself has, have, has basically said while he was president that a president shouldn't get immunity. <laughs> I don't know any readers that I follow have seen him getting immunity. Uh, so we'll just wait that out for the moment. Uh, what I want to have a quick look at first, I wasn't actually going to look at this, but while I was reading my notes, I thought I, I should do so using my Gilded Tarot Royale. Um, so what is, the National Security Advisor Sullivan is in uh, Ukraine at the moment. Slav Ukraine, viva la resistance. Uh, what is happening is, well, overnight, uh, Ukraine drones attacked a uh, Russian uh, bomber air force base. Successfully, I believe, uh, there are several groups within Russia that have been targeting oil rigs and oil refineries, again, quite successfully. So if you're the price of your fuel goes up slightly. It is seasonal in the US, but it is also, I believe, something like 13% uh, of international production has been interrupted. Go Ukraine. Um, so what's happened is National Security Advisor Sullivan in Ukraine at the moment, confident of, uh, of Plan A getting through of uh, funding Ukraine. Uh, the funding of Ukraine has been held up in the House for about a year now. Yeah, we know by whom. Uh, Ukraine is, is outgunned, outmanned by Russia. Uh, they desperately need these funds. However, Sullivan has said that they are prepared. They're hopeful for Plan A. And I'll have a look at the budget in a minute for the US. The second stage of that's coming up, which includes funding for Ukraine. But they're not ruling out Plan B. So I just want to have a quick look. A quick look. I have... Um, Seen in the past that the US, uh, I have seen that Biden will get a workaround, and I have seen that part of this, the US will uh, fund NATO countries, and that with the with the proviso that those NATO countries will then fund Ukraine. So just have a look. Just have a look. Will Ukraine receive the funding that it requires from the US? Come on down. Let's have a look. Oh, not great as the first card out, Four of Pentacles, um, holding on to the money. Will will Ukraine receive the funding? I don't like it as the first. Four of Pentacles is very much about trying to hold on to funding. 
It's also secrets being tr they're trying to keep hidden in regards to funding, insecurity. Not a great first card to come out. Let's, but this is the here and now. Let's so let's see what the outcome is. So this is the GOP House members uh, basically blocking funding of Ukraine. However, they are at a really important decision point at the moment. The challenge is the difficult decision that needs to be made in regards to funding. Foundation, a harsh truth here in the past. Oh, look, betrayal, loss, deceit. Um, a lot of swords here. Swords are about truth and clarity. Uh, they can also be about logic and wisdom. But in the past, we've got literally Ukraine being, they were promised the money, it didn't come. they literally feeling like they've been stabbed through the heart. It's one of those, Ukraine is fighting a European war. If Ukraine falls, the next step is, is actual NATO countries. So in reality, do does the US fund Ukraine to fight uh, with their troops on their land to prevent a full-scale NATO war in which um, the US would have no choice but to be drawn into. Hmm, okay. Feeling out in the cold, dissolute, financially um, uh, abandoned. So this is the energies of the now, and I really do get that. But what is the future bringing? Ah. Oh, Difficult choices. There are illusion, delusion about what choice to make. I'm talking about U.S. funding of Ukraine. There's a there's a there's a. Thank you. There is a smoke and mirrors delusion about funding Ukraine that is occurring within the GOP House. The answer is simple. It's this one in the middle here, but they're arguing all around it with accusations that are accusations and, and statements that are not really relevant to the truth of it, uh, based on greed and power and vanity and you know all you know the rest. Okay, really disappointed in that. Uh, external energy, the walking away, three cups lost, one still standing. We've got the full moon here. When's the full moon coming up? Is that the 25th? But, so, and the 25th, I believe, is that Monday? Okay, because I'm going to have a look at the budget because the budget is due Friday. However, uh, the wording coming out of Congress is they're prepared to work over the weekend for it. But we've got three cups down here, five still remaining, internally a sort of truth and reality being drawn. Also got the dove of peace here. Uh, hopes and fears, a money trail, so skilled work going on behind the scenes to bring the money forth. Okay, thank you. Queen of Pentacles. Um, Security on the home front, bringing forth protection. We've got a plan involving overseas and then we've got full illumination um, in regards to the birth of something new but also Russia and a significant new plan. I think National Security Advisor Sullivan, we are going to have to look at plan B. We're going to have to look at Plan B. The strength in this um, time is a changing. There are secrets behind the scenes in regards to the GOP that they're going to find themselves entrapped by. But then we have the star of hope and healing, the best of democracy, and a new beginning as the truth has moved forward. Um, yeah, I'm really getting. Uh, but um, it's going to have to be Plan B. So I'll just have a look. I'll just have a look. Will the funding of Ukraine 
and I'm getting yes. Plan B, significant new plan coming forward in regards to to um, balancing moderation, but you know the fire and fire and water balancing. So tell me, show me. I don't see uh, yeah ending significant new beginning. I hope. I'm sorry for the tapping if my table is annoying. No one's brought it up, but. Um, Will the US, and yeah, again, a big money, yes, big new start, emotionally overwhelming, uh, new partnership start, yes, so show me, are we looking at, are we looking at a plan B, plan B for funding of Ukraine? The plan B for the funding of Ukraine. Just they just those that are holding it up just don't understand. They just don't understand how the world works, that we are. It's not about only looking after your own little patch behind the border. We are a global economy, we are a global trading world, we are all human. Let's have a look. Funding of Ukraine going to resort, going to resort to a plan, plan B, plan C, whatever it is. Want that one? The funding of Ukraine going to go via different means. Thank you. I'm going to say yes. Yes. Walking the tightrope, decision time needs to be made in regards to money about saving the foundering ship. I'm going to say yes. Yep, new plan. New plan coming forward in regards to the, the funding. The GOP are going to find themselves entrapped by the messaging. Those that block the funding are going to find themselves entrapped. I really think what's happening is this this um, budget that's that's due Friday. Goodness me, it's not like they've had since, since September last year, and they're still scrabbling. Um, yeah, we've got here the messaging bringing about restriction for families. But it is going to be transformative. I just think this is their last chance. In the past, we've got the lies, the deceit, the betrayal. Yeah, of the truth. This is the GO, this is the GOP. And we've got again this harsh truth coming forward. Cannot be denied. Immediate future secrets behind the scenes being revealed, but it's also a feminine wisdom strength coming forward as well. And feminine is very much about the compassionate, the look after your community. Um, yeah. So we've got here the fe the feminine, the feminine strength coming forward. The pillars of wisdom. Almost looks like again. Is the eclipse on Monday? So we've got full moon and then the an eclipse. It looks like this moon is getting the a lunar eclipse about it. So I'm thinking Monday. Externally, we've got yeah the GOB GOB <laughs> the GOP infighting brawling happening. Externally, we have uh, sorry internally at the so the GOP infighting, brawling, at the behest of their dear leader, hopes and fears, seen and heard, being seen and heard, but we've then got looking at a different way to bring the money forward. The birth of something significantly new again with feminine energy. And the plan being articulated, and it is time. the 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 wheel of fortune is turning. 
justice, actions having consequences and coming forth fairly quickly in the face of the disappointment of the budget. What's happening in the here and now? So on the basis of the here and now, um, what's happening in Ukraine at the moment, the loss, the death, powerful truth coming, being brought forward, but it is just a page bringing the information forward, a new, a new well, I'm going to say mercenary actions of those in the GOP find themselves with the back against the wall because they have been pandering to this devil energy and we know who the devil is. But there is a new money plan being brought forward by the government, the Biden government, and we've got the King of Swords coming forward here. And kings are externally doing, bringing forth a truth, bringing forward a plan, bringing forth a wisdom. Okay. So I'm just going to put it out there. Um, I don't think Ukraine funding will get passed in the budget. I'll have a look at the budget in a minute over the weekend, but which will basically uh, force the hand for Plan B is what I'm getting. Um, okay. But the funding will get there. The funding will get there. I think what's happening is the Biden administration are basically, oh, look at my hair, desperate for a haircut. Uh, the Biden administration is basically going to give the House one last chance and then it's, um, they'll move, they'll move with plan B. So, yep, see how it plays. Love to you all. Take care.